One way to install FM Studio Pro and use it is using a local PHP server. When you use a local PHP server, this means that your installation of your web server and PHP is running locally on one of your computers. In this case, to keep things simple, we assume that this is running on the same computer as Dreamweaver. Now, the, keep in mind a couple of things. When you're going to be running PHP locally, this means that you're going to have to install PHP either inside of your copy of IIS, if you're using Windows, or in Apache, if you're using a Mac. Installing a PHP is uh, not a simple process. And if you have an IT team that can help you install PHP and test it out, then great, you should use this method. Otherwise, we highly suggest using a hosting service instead, as installing PHP is a complicated process that we cannot assist with as part of support. Every server is a, quite a bit different, and it's a slightly different challenge every time. That being said, let's work with the local PHP installation and um, get it going with FM Studio on Windows using IIS. Begin by going to your site menu in Dreamweaver and choosing new site. In here, we're going to give the site a name. I'll call it first FM Studio site. And then you have to choose a local root folder. Since you're going to be using a local PHP installation, you're going to have to browse to your C drive, find inetpub, go to www root, and now create a new subfolder here. Call the subfolder first FM Studio site, or whatever site name you choose, and click select. Now the next step is go to the testing server. Under testing server, you're going to have to choose a server model. This is extremely important to choose FM Studio Pro here. This is how Dreamweaver knows that this will be an FM Studio Pro website. Now under access, choose local slash network. Typically, the testing server folder will be pre-filled with the same folder. If not, reselect it here. And now, under the URL prefix, we're going to actually write it from scratch since different versions of Dreamweaver sometimes fill it correctly, but most often not. So for the URL prefix, since we're using a local PHP installation, you can type in localhost forward slash, and now you have to choose the folder name. So in here, we use the subfolder first FM Studio site in triple W root. So we have to use the same subfolder first FM Studio site forward slash. And this is it. Now, if you are using a Mac, and by the way, this point applies to the other video as well, so place it in the right location. If you are using a Mac, the testing server folder is going to be in your main hard drive, library, documents, web server. And inside of the web server folder, you're going to have to create a subfolder just like we did with first FM Studio site. Now click OK. And uh, if you get this warning, click Cancel. And then let's quickly just edit the site uh, to fix this warning. So to fix the warning, just copy out your URL from here and copy it into the local info. This keeps Dreamweaver happy that it has URLs in both areas that match. All right, so now that we have this, uh, this site set up, let's create the first index page. To do this, right click next to the site and choose a new file. Now you might not see it on the screen right now in the screen capture, but the first option in this menu is new file. Type in index.php as the file and double click it to open. Now we're going to make sure that this is an FM Studio Pro file. To, to double check that, to make sure that that's the case, go to your window menu 
and choose databases. This will open up the databases area and you can check that this file is indeed PHP for FM Studio Pro file. Now that it looks like your site is set up with FM Studio Pro, we're going to check one more thing and that is that PHP is working properly. For this, go to your commands menu and choose a PHP info page. This creates a PHP info page down here and opens it up right here. Next step is to preview this in a browser. I'm going to choose to preview it in Firefox. And as you can see, the URL of this page is localhost, our first FM Studio site for slash PHP info. Now, as you can see, this page comes up with a lot of PHP information. A couple of quick notes here. Since you're using a local PHP installation and not a hosting service, a lot of things can go wrong. If you have a 404 error page, a 404 file not found, this typically means that your URL prefix, your testing server URL prefix up here, is incorrect and does not match the subfolder that you're placing this PHP info file into. However, if you're getting errors such as error 500, 503, or other strange errors that are not 404, then most likely your PHP installation is broken. You could talk to your IT department about fixing it or go with a hosting service. All right, that being said, we're going to check one more thing on the PHP info page. And that is that you have a library called curl or CURL inside of PHP. And this library is essential for communicating with FileMaker server. So scroll down, and as you scroll down, you'll see that you'll have sections that start becoming alphabetic. And scroll into the C right here and make sure that you have curl. If you don't have curl in this section, it typically comes bet between C type and date. If you do not have curl right here, it means that your PHP installation does not have the curl module installed or enabled. And if that's the case, talk to your IT department about enabling and adding it to the PHP installation. Well, and that's it for the PHP local site setup. From this point on, you can go to the ne next video where we create a database connection.